Thank you so much, guys. We're joined here by Frog and Untap, so indeed talk about that win versus Rock Ad. Congratulations first up. And, uh, well, let's talk a little bit about picks and bans because they prioritize their elements and you guys prioritize the Sivir pick for you. How happy were you with your draft overall, Tabs? Yeah, I think we we're pretty happy. We got what we really wanted. Um, the Sivir comp is one of our things we're, we're good at. We can just uh, group and we just press the R button. We just go in and we just destroy them. Right. You say you jumped right in and uh, destroyed them, yet it was really slow and it was actually the lowest kill game we've had all split. Do you think that reflected your style overall, that even with the Sivir comp can come through, or was that because of how Rocket played? No, I think that was because our comp was scaling really well. Like right from the beginning, we identified um, if we just go equal and we scale up to the late game, our team fight will just become absurd. Whereas they had more of a mid game team fight comp uh, where they wanted to group up and take our towers, but they just couldn't. Now, a lot of fans uh, on social media and on, on the likes of Reddit criticize elements sometimes of playing too many of these slow scaling comps and getting punished early. Do you think that's a fair assessment or do you just feel maybe just the early game just happened to go wrong every time? Uh, I think it's pretty unfair. Slow, slow scaling comps is the only thing we've won with so far. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't mind playing slow as long as we win. But I think um, we sp played especially sh safe this game because Rocket, the only way they could win was if they actually got an early lead or could push down all our towers. So if they were better at forcing it upon us, we would probably have seen more team fights early on in the game and a lot more skirmish fighting. But they just didn't force it and we wouldn't want to, like, like, we can just even farm them and then outscale them really hard. So that's just what we tried to do. Yeah, you did actually outscale pretty well. On Vladimir, we got a stat from our stats guy. Apparently, Froggen did more damage than his entire team combined. So, uh, yeah. the Froggen Show? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually an interesting point because obviously we talk a lot about how stacked the mid laners are here in EU. How do you feel as a player? What is like the biggest adjustment you had to make coming into this season in this meta? Uh, I actually think uh, mid laners in Season 3 was better than it is now because right now it's not so much about mid lane, actually. You see both Natic and Norwegian None of them are actually like playing mid lane centered. They more play side lane centered because they're much better at lane swapping than the rest. Or it looks that way at least. They're really good at punishing mistakes, going for tower dives on side lanes and all that kind of stuff. So it's much more about the side lanes than the mid lanes. And season three, it was more about actually being super, like really fucking good on assassins and stuff like that. So you'd always see these skirmish things. So you'd just always see big plays. It's not so much the case now. Now Tabs, you rejoin uh Elements, formerly Alliance, uh, after not being in there to the spring split. What's the biggest difference been for you, or uh, just like in Elements compared to, of course, it's a lot of different team members, but what has changed so much for you? Um, not so much the team, I think. I think a lot of us have like the similar strength at Alliance. We have pretty good individual skill, and we use that to outplay our opponents. Uh, what changed more is the meta, I think. Um, it's much more, like Frogan said, it's much more side lane focused, where it's especially heavy about getting the teleports and uh, just playing bot lane utility. Okay, well, very insightful words from you guys. Congratulations on that victory. I think we see a lot more of you guys in the coming weeks. Well, coming up next for us, though, is our game of the week between Origin and the undefeated Fnatic. Before we look at the two squads, let's hear how the most successful team in Europe spawned its own biggest rival 